uh hi guys uh welcome to this sixth episode of the series of tutorial in this tutorial i we will try to finish up what we've done here to in our customer database um this our customer database we will try to finish all these functions uh first up um i will now teach you how to implement the search function in our form first up um, go to your database and add uh, two datas I'll leave that up to you what data you want to add and after that close it and go to your to DB uh, to VB now what we need here is we need a search form so go ahead go to your solutions explorer and if it's really up to you it's really optional if you want to add a new folder but i just had the hab habit of adding one so i just add a new folder and i added under that folder i added the search customer form so in your search customer form you're you're gonna need a couple of things uh you will need a label, combo box, and two buttons. On your combo box, we will. Uh, I'm gonna show you a trick here. I'm gonna teach you a trick here. Uh, we're gonna implement the suggest and append or the autocomplete. The autocomplete mode of the combo box. So before I teach you that, you need to add two more things your data set which I named my DS and your customer stable adapter which I named customer TA so af oops after that um, go to your combo box click on your properties and on your on the property section of your combo box on the data source property section uh, put it to your my ds go just click on other data sources and search customer list instances and just click on my ds after that on the display member we would like the our combo box to display the customer name so the display me member go to your customer stable and click on customer name after that on the autocomplete mode put it on suggest and append and the autocomplete source place it on list items after that save your form then close the form I oh, know I'm oh, sorry I went ahead and closing the form uh, after that, um, double click on the form, type this one, customer TA, that fill, my DS, customer DB, we all know that this, this line of code will tell the table adapter to fill our data set and what part of the data set, what table of the data set, it will be our customer's table. Then combo box text is equals to empty this is how you place your combo box in, uh, into an empty for empty combo box uh, the explanation uh, my explanation why I place this one will come into light after we run the program then after that double click on your button one so that VB will generate the button one click event for you and type in this me dialog windows form dialog result dot okay and on your bottom button click event two button to click event type this one as well me dialog windows dot forms dot dialog result dot cancel <coughs> uh, I will ex explain the meaning of that code shortly now go back to your customer design view and double click on your 
search menu here under your search menu this code we placed it again under try catch and now copy this code deem search as new search customer search customer here is the form is our search customer form and we just named it to a shorter name uh, we gave it a uh, uh, name of search this is how you um, let forms um, um, what do you call that uh, communicate with each other now the meaning of this code this if statement is if the customer clicks on search on the search uh, triggers the search menu click event it will show you the customer search form and if ever the customer clicks on button 2 which is our cancel button it will exit the this subroutine however if the customer didn't click cancel or he or she clicked button 1 then the the name inside combo box 1 that text will be displayed in our customer db form so let's try the code let's run our program uh, so click on file customer database uh, here remember that we placed two um, datas in our data set so that should be present so if you ca as you can see here on the drop down nancy drew and sheila drew is present so if you type letter n it will automatically suggest choices for you and suggest uh the first um uh, the suggestions really come in alphabetical order so if we click OK here it displays the details of Nancy Drew let's do that again the search menu let's try our cancel button here so let's click on Sheila Drew and click on cancel as you can see it didn't do anything to our customer DB so that's it for today guys uh, that's it for now uh, oh a couple of things here we don't want our form looking like this having three buttons so what we can do with this update button is we can merge it with our save button because of our count because of the count event event that we made on the previous tutorial so just cut cut this one oh we, we first need to stop debugging so let's just cut this one cut this line of code and because of our count we can put our update method here update yep and that's about it count update yep that's it uh, that's it and now you can delete your button 3 and that's about it guys uh, I leave you to test that if you incur any problems just let me know oh no let's transfer this three codes inside our the first uh, if statement and yep that's about it uh if you incur any problems with the things that we've done and we weren't able to tackle just um comment on the se comment section below don't forget to subscribe and like and uh, after we finish this form i'm gonna teach you how to make make a login form anyway guys happy coding and